Good evening, Ron. Thank Hi. you very much for both, all three uh, for seminars. Wonderful. Thank you. My question is that you said that you had the blood of our Lord examined by the Israelis. That's correct. What was their determination of that? Okay. <laughs> now, we won't be able to take second questions. I'm sorry if you're on your second one, please just step out. I love you, but we're running out of time. Uh, real quickly, okay. Uh, dried blood is dead blood. Everybody knows that, all right? They can test the blood of the pharaohs, the mummies of the pharaohs, all right? There's certain things they can do. They cannot get a chromosome count by any method I'm familiar with, all right? Things keep changing. I don't profess to know everything. However, there's no way I know that you can get a chromosome count out of dead blood. You can get a DNA and some other things, but not a chromosome count, all right? That's done by living white blood cells. Now then, first of all, in this analysis, I took the blood into a laboratory in Israel. I asked one of the people I work with in, in antiquities, where is a good laboratory that does reliable work? And they said, such and such, such and such. I took it. I just said, please examine this blood and tell me what you can tell me about it. All right? They said, well, look, we're going to reconstitute it. We're going to put it in normal saline and keep it at body temperature for 72 hours with uh, gentle swirling. All right? That's their business. That's great. I said, now, I want to be there when you check it out. They said, fine. So I was back. They checked it out. I said, now, uh, they said, it's human blood. We can tell that. They did whatever tests they need to do. And then I said, take some of the white blood cells and put them in a growth medium and keep them at body temperature for 48 hours. And they said, well, that'll do no good because it's dead blood. I said, would you please do that for me? And they said, okay, we'll do it. So anyway, I said, I want to be there when you take it out and examine it. So I was back there. They took it out, examined it under a microscope, and the one technician called the other one over there, and then they called the boss over there, and they were talking Hebrew a mile a minute there for a little bit, and they looked at me and they said, Mr. Wyatt, this human blood only has 24 chromosomes in it. Everybody else has 46. You see, 23 from your mother, 23 from your father, 22 autosomes from your mother, 22 autosomes from your father. You get an X from your mother, you may get an X or a Y from your father, all right? This blood had 23 chromosomes from the mother's side, one Y chromosome only. You see, the ch child could not have developed if they hadn't had the autosomes from the mother. So all of his physical characteristics were determined by his mother's side of the family, her autosomes. His maleness was determined by this one Y that came from a source, not a human male. Then they said, this blood is alive. And then they said, whose blood is this? I said, it's the blood of your Messiah. And I assure you, those men's lives have changed. You're welcome.